This is a video case report of a US guided radiofrequency ablation of small pancreatic adenocarcinoma as a new therapeutic option for patients and fit for surgery. An 84 year old male came to our institute following an incidental CT scan finding of a 15 mm solid lesion of the pancreas. Due to multiple severe cardiovascular comorbidities, patient was judged unfit for surgery and was scheduled for contrast enhanced US and radiofrequency ablation of the lesion. CT scan showed an hypodense mass at the neck of the pancreas of 15 mm in diameter. At the US examination, the mass appeared as a hypochoic lesion with regular borders and no relation with vessels. Following intravenous injection of Sonoview contrast media, the lesion showed in homogeneous hypoenhancement. US fine needle biopsy was performed using a 20 gauge fenestrated needle, and the lesion was diagnosed as an adenocarcinoma. Though there was no vascular invasion or distant metastasis, the patient was judged and fit for surgery due to multiple severe cardiovascular comorbidities. On this basis, the patient was referred for a US-guided radiofrequency ablation of the lesion. We used the novel US RFA system consisting of a 19-gate needle electrode covered with a sheet, except for the terminal 1 cm with a sharp conical tip for energy delivery. The needle electrode is connected to the radiofrequency generator that is also connected to a couple of ground pads. Furthermore, the needle electrode is connected with a water pump that circulates cold saline solution between a water container with ice and the needle in a closed circuit. This internal cooling system allows to prevent sharing of the surface of the needle and improves the accuracy of ablation. A dedicated 19-gauge needle electrode with an internal cooling system was inserted into the lesion. 20 watts power was delivered via a radiofrequency generator under a US guidance. Ecogenic bubbles appearing at the tip of the needle indicate progression of the radiofrequency ablation that is stopped as soon as the generator indicates a sudden rise in tissue impedance. The lesion was then punctured at a different point and a second round of 20 watts power was delivered under US guidance. Contrast enhanced US revealed no captation of the ablation area on an immediate post procedural evaluation. Post procedural course was uneventful and no early or delayed adverse events occurred. An MRI follow up at 3 months revealed a 2.48 vascular area with the presence of an ablation related necrosis. Patient was still alive 12 months after discharge in good overall general conditions. In conclusion, we can say that surgery remains the treatment of choice for resectable pancreatic adenocarcinoma. U.S. guided radiofrequency ablation of a resectable pancreatic cancer in a patient unfit for surgery is a feasible procedure that may become an emerging field in the setting of patients. However, further studies will be needed to define long-term outcomes.